Hi. Today we're going to talk a little bit about N4 CRM and how it's a great utility for managing your business. It's an easy to use tool that's going to be affordable for your organization and can be accessed everywhere through mobile devices, Outlook, and a standard browser. There's more data going around the enterprise than just what lives within the sales organization. And to that point, what Infor has done is built a common platform to achieve the common destiny of the organization, both our destiny of building great applications for our customers, as well as the common destiny of our customers using our applications. They need to have a common experience across organizations, across locations and departments. Having a workspace that they can all share information and common analytics so that they can do business and make decisions about how to do business. Leveraging tools like workflow. When things happen in CRM, sometimes that in means something has to happen on ERP and vice versa. So leveraging the ION platform, we accomplish this mission of building a common destiny for our customers. When talking about how that relates to CRM, Many of our customers require that they have a common viewpoint, that they need to use CRM for what it does, managing sales and service and marketing, but also needing to know more about what's happening on the ERP side, whether it's past orders or pending orders or service issues that need to be addressed. This integration gives them a viewpoint into how that data is relevant to the sales effort and that data must be able to be accessed regardless of what device they're using on a given day. So to that point, what Infor has done is built applications that are beautiful, easy to use, and attractive. They make sense. They just are able to be used. Easy training creates more people using the application. Our transformational Outlook integration enables people to consume and use and manage data within CRM while staying in their inbox. And our mobile access has a no install application that's a website built for a mobile device so that it interacts with your mobile device as you would expect it to, but there's nothing to install, there's nothing to configure, and there's nothing to protect if that device is ever lost or stolen. And all of our deployments, whether it's in the cloud or on-premise, are single tenant deployments, so your data is safe and secure and right where you expect it to be with access to do whatever you want, whether it's integrating with other systems or leveraging a BI platform. So when we talk about CRM, people want access through today's common mobile devices. They need to have access that way, and they will. People use browsers to get a full-blown access to a system uh, where they have more data to consume with other p parts and pieces. And when they're using Outlook, they need to have access into CRM without leaving Outlook. So you'll see today our XBAR tool and how it interacts with CRM and email at the same time. So let's take a quick look at what CRM looks like. So if we start our day like most people in Outlook and we take a look at what's going on with email, what you notice is when I choose an email over on the side here, our XBAR tool looks up the contact record. In this case, it's a customer complaining that a box was received and damaged. So over here, we can look around and decide what activities are, are scheduled with this individual already in CRM, what other data has happened recently, and you see the person had called in about another ticket only two hours ago. Maybe it's the same issue. In any case, we need to take action with this individual. We can click on the Foursquare button and schedule a phone call or a meeting or a to-do or create a new opportunity or ticket right from within the X-Bar. So this is actually the ability to create new records like a phone call without leaving our Outlook experience. Right now we're using CRM and we're going to simply drag and drop the notes down in here about what the phone call is about. And in this case we're going to have somebody call and follow up with them about the next step. Right now it's assigned to the user, so we're going to assign it to Lois and hit save. So now we've scheduled a new phone call that will show up in the activities window to have that person called within the next 32 minutes. Beyond that X-Bar experience, sometimes you read an email and you realize you do need to record it to history. And you can right here. 
Additionally, if you want to jump out of, out of Outlook into the full Serum client next to the Foursquare button is something called Go To. And when we click that button, we go to CRM and we go to the full client experience and directly to that contact record. We can go directly in here and see the ticket that they've submitted earlier today. We can take a look at activities that are scheduled in the system, including the one we just scheduled a minute ago. By highlighting that email, or that, excuse me, that event, you'll also notice that the notes that I brought in from the email are automatically brought in. So you can consume the same information from inside of Outlook as you can inside of the full client. We can go look at a list of contacts and make sense out of what else we need to be doing for the day, and we can choose right down the list of the different contacts we need to be in touch with. While we're experiencing this, we can go back to the record we started with by going to Recently Viewed, and when we go to the Recently Viewed information, we want to figure out what we need to do next. In this case, it looks like we have a meeting that was at 1245, which is in just a few minutes. So we better get out the door. So what happens when we leave the office? We've got our phone with us. Once we open up CRM inside of our mobile device, you'll notice that all the activities that we have scheduled for the day that we just looked at in the client are all present right here. You see we've got a new meeting coming up here in 31 minutes and we better figure out how to get there. So by clicking down into this event we can choose the contact we're meeting with and by doing that we can go take a look at that individual's record. Our quick actions menu offers up the most common things that you want to do right away when you look up a contact like dial the phone or get some driving directions. So by clicking the driving directions we're going to invoke whatever mapping software we have on our phone. In this case it's Google and it's going to take that address from CRM, paste it into our Google platform, and give us our driving directions. When we go back into that record for the individual, we might need to give them a call. Or we can look at what else do we know about them before making that phone call and see that we have activities scheduled and there's a ticket. And maybe we want to understand a little bit about what the problem is before making the phone call. Besides that, once we do click on the phone number, we're actually going to invoke the calling capability of our telephone that we're holding. And by clicking call, we will call the phone. But the best part about that is when we hang up the phone and we end up back in our screen in CRM, we've actually logged the fact that we made a phone call automatically. And all we have to do is click on the notes field, click the microphone, and talk right into the system and tell it about the phone call we just held. Leaving these notes in CRM makes it easy for the end user to log notes into CRM. We can also further modify these and hit save. Now the notes are in the system, we can send an email using our device, we can take out other actions, and we can also navigate the full gamut of the system using the sidebar menu. We can go look at contacts, we can look at lists of contacts that we've built filtered groups for, and quickly navigate the system and do the things that we need to do to accomplish our job. Using mobile is incredibly easy and takes very little training. And as I mentioned, it's a web application built for a mobile device, so there's nothing to install. All we have to do is go back, and once we open that, we save it to our da desktop as a shortcut so that it's available for us to get back to as soon as we want to again in the future. Once we're back in the office, we can take a look at dashboard reporting and figuring out what else we need to be doing as end users. You see here we've got a list of today's activities, we've got a view of our pipeline and funnel, and other objects we might want to see like a list view of our pipeline, or other things based on status and dates. These pipe pipeline objects can be organized and moved around wherever we want to see them on the dashboard, 
Additionally, we can drill through and look at a logical calendar to figure out what we need to be doing on a given day or week. One of the advantages of using the CRM calendar is everything in our CRM calendar is going to synchronize with Outlook, but the difference is when we schedule things in our calendar, they're linked to data objects inside of CRM. Therefore, we're able to build records, notes, and history, and we're able to drill directly through the calendar into the contact record. This gives us easier access to more data, and we can quickly figure out what else is going on with an organization. Are, are they having problems, and are we selling them anything? When's the last time we talked to that individual, and what are we doing next? So using CRM becomes an easy transformational experience for everybody in the organization, whether you have a full access to a browser, whether you're accessing it through our Outlook platform integration, or whether you want to use it on a mobile device. Nonetheless, CRM is easy to access and available everywhere.